good afternoon guys welcome back and i hope you found the um bookmark belly band tutorial just before this video video just before this one very useful and i hope you've managed to follow along okay i hope you've managed to make your own as well yay um but welcome to this video of a flip through which is the flip through of the journal that i was working in in the last video and this is a flip through of a journal kit from tracy fox over at love junk journals all the links below guys go check her out um, this is for a flip through showing her Ola chic kit which is just blooming awesome absolutely awesome <laughs> Um, I was really, really, really surprised and really giddy when it popped up on my notifications that Tracy had done a sh kind of a shabby chic kit because Tracy and shabby chic don't go well together. Well, they never did before, but she's proper nailed it with this. She really, really has. I was like, oh, wow. When the notification came through, I immediately went to Etsy to have a look and I was like, oh, wow i sent the link to shell over at shell ccc i'm like look at this look what one of the junk journalists has just released as a kit i need it but etsy won't let me buy it when the notification came through i wasn't well and i was in bed so i lent on my phone and i went to click buy and it wouldn't let me i was absolutely mortified i'm like why won't you let me buy it so i waited till the day after and then i did it through the pc and it worked fine but yeah but even Michelle was Googling or googly over it. She's like, oh, wow, it's awesome. You really need to get it. I'm like, I am doing, don't worry. But yes, yeah, so I got it and almost immediately printed it out. The quality of the images are probably not that great, but not because of Tracy, that's because of me. I only printed it on normal, uh, normal um, printer paper, um, which you don't tend to get the full resolution of the images on photo on not photo paper at all on printer paper it kind of they kind of seem to dull them down a little bit um so if you printed this on matte photo paper matte photo paper or quality card paper the images would be a lot more um intense i think that's the word i've lost the word but anyway they'd be a lot better they'd be a lot better but for me i'm happy enough like so this is just a paper one of my a paper bag journal and it's just bog standard paper that's in it i've just used normal printer paper and bits of paper that i had myself um but it's for me so i'm not too fussed about the actual quality of it um but the whole kit is amazing i absolutely love it um there are two kits available they're both the same but one kit is an A5 kit and the other kit is a, a traveller's notebook size kit. They are both exactly the same. You get the same 10 sheets of um, digital papers, like pages, if you will. Um, you get the same, they're exactly the same. Just one prints out on A4 paper and folded in half creates an A5 journal and the other one, I don't know the... Um, TN measurements, traveller's notebook measurements but whatever that is is full and then you cut it out and fold it and it creates the pages to go inside a traveller's notebook I don't know measurements guys, I'm sorry I've never used um, traveller's notebook kits before um, I used, I bought the A5 um, kit because I do tend to try and make my, my journals A5 size or just slightly smaller anyway um so i got that one and i just cut it down to put it in a paper bag book um journal so this is like a butty bag just folded in half to create the journal cover and i glued a one of the um kit pages onto it which i've actually also included in the journal as well anyway so yes so the um this was cut to size, making sure that I got that pretty much central and didn't end up getting it over one side and cutting it off. If anything, I actually cut more this way to make sure I got that off than that. Um, even though it's on the back, I still want, I didn't want half a tower on the back. I wanted a proper picture. The piece that was left over from this, 
um, this side is actually here on the inside. So this is actually the edge bit of this paper. Um, actually, one second and I'll show you. Because I did the same with the page inside as well. Um, I cut it the same. So that is actually the edge of that paper there. Hmm. Which, like I said, I used on the inside of the journal. There. So that's the do just a piece of it not showing because I use some washi tape um, just this um, little thin washi tape that I had that just tied in great with it um, so yeah I was originally going to put that on as a pocket actually but then I thought well I don't need to because the inside of the cover is a pocket so yeah but all I've done basically is printed all the pages out cut them down to fit this journal and then just folded them in half and put them in with coloured papers in between. Um, so in the kit there are, like I said, 10 pages, um, kit pages, um, which you can use as pages or cut up and use however you want. And then there is a separate kit, which is the ephemera kit, the All Our Chic ephemera kit. In that kit you get five pages and they are full of ephemera so you get um, I've got it all wrote down here actually you get four tags four pockets um, pockets I mean these pockets um, four tags I'll show you as I go through anyway um, you get eight page tabs so these um, you get one library card which is this. Um, you get two envelopes, which are these. Um, all cut out, well, obviously flat on the page, you cut out and then score them and fold them yourself. And then you get a few other little bits, some tickets and stuff like that, which I will show you as I now flip through the journal. Um, so, yeah. Just before I go any further, I am not in any way, shape or form kind of associated with Tracy and her kits other than being in her group as a fellow crafter and liking what she does. Um, I'm not on a design team. I wasn't given this kit for free or anything like that to review. I just love it that much. I want to show it off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but excited much. <laughs> so like I said just glued on the front um, you've got the I do mine so that the pocket is on the inside I've seen many crafters do these style of journals before and they always fold it the other way so that the pocket is on the outside but I prefer it on the inside on the back um, I, you can anybody by all means just take a slither off the edge there and you'd get another pocket because of the bag this is like the, the bottom of the bag but I don't I leave that bit just as a bit of extra strength um, this one I put an eyelet through it and then I just loop some ribbon through to make a closure then glued one of the pockets from the ephemera kit over the top of it um, but yeah so let's get going let's get into it but like I said, this is just simple. There isn't a lot of fluff in it or anything. It's just a simple because I'm going to use it as a notebook, journal, shopping list, general, doodling, that sort of thing. Just want to throw in my bag. So I didn't want a big chunky monkey book. Although it is quite chunky. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we go. So this is one of the pages. This is only a one signature book. So it's basically just all the 10 pages of the kit folded in half and then in between those pages I have alternated with blue and pink, pastel blue and pastel pink paper to tie in with the theme of the kit being shabby chic-ish. <laughs> shabby chic-ish. But yeah, but definitely not shabby. Definitely not shabby, Tracy. You've outdone yourself with this one. I love it. But yeah, so we've got the 
well not even the first page you can put the pages in whatever order you wanted to but there you go so one of the kit but uh, one of the pages then you have a pocket from the ephemera kit like i said the library card and one of the tags again they're just on normal printer paper because it's just for me if i was making this to sell i would have done this on um proper card stock and matte photo paper to get the best quality out of it possible but when i'm just doing them for me i do them on normal normal paper um save the good stuff <laughs> for the best kind of thing doesn't bother me so yeah and then like i said just some plain pastel papers that i had that i've thrown in between because they tie in really well even the pink ties in but it's just oh so stunning the attention to detail in this page is amazing amazing just look at it very faint clock in the background um, I'm sorry about my fingers being a bit grubby I've just done the um, video before this showing how to make the book band uh, bookmark belly band but yeah just all the detail is amazing even there just fantastic absolutely fantastic I love it so so much gorgeous isn't she just pretty as well beautiful oh i love it so yeah nice page there and then like again like i said just some pastel paper that i have i have absolutely tons of this and that blue stuff i've had them for years. in fact this paper is vintage i've had it for about 20 years i'm um yeah i'm 38 I had my daughter when I was 18 and yeah I probably got this paper then because I remember using this paper to do her birth announcements on. I made my own do her birth announcements on. I'm not sure when I got the blue one. I think I got it at the same time. But yeah so they're definitely vintage. They're like 20 year old paper. <laughs> so but yeah like I said I've not this specific one but I've just done a tutorial on how to make these bookmark belly bands. Um so yeah but i did these using the um off cuts from the sides of the pages so when i cut the pages down this is what these little strips were what were left over i've just sliced a tiny bit off the side and a bit off the top to make them smaller so that they fit um but yeah so i just made a bookmark belly band with a couple of strips of the paper a bit of blingy trim on top i love that stuff um, like I said it's kind of the same page but you've like this part of the page and then that part of the page folded in half and cut so the same page but different slightly different design because you've got one edge of the page and then the other edge of the page so awesome this and then we've got the page tab on the then we have another page with an envelope attached this is actually the page I used for the front and back. Um, this envelope is nowhere near straight because I didn't score it with my scoreboard. I scored it with my hand and shouldn't have done. <laughs> but, oh, look at that. So beautiful. That's actually this page here on the front cover, which is gorgeous. And then, like I said, this is that front page as well. This is the page that I used on the front cover, so I had to include it in the journal too. Um, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. But loving it. Loving it. So, the envelope's empty. There's nothing in there. I haven't put anything in it yet, but it will come in useful. Very, very useful. Um, so I've just clipped that on there with a paper clip just a normal paper clip with a bead dangle on i have oh a plethora of bead dangles like this all over the place because i make jewelry um as well predominantly actually a jewelry maker so i have tons and tons of beads like this hanging around and i've seen people just adding them to paper clips and i thought that's a really good idea actually <laughs> so i did the same just a couple of dangles so yeah there's one on there um then got a smaller page because i cut it the wrong size i didn't cut it the wrong size i folded it the wrong way um 
yeah I actually folded it the wrong way and cut it but there's no right or wrong sizes to put pages in a journal anyway a lot of people stagger pages anyway where they're not all the exact same size some of them are bigger some of them are smaller I usually do that but because I wanted this as a notebook um, and quite a chunky one I wanted to get as much journaling space out of it as possible so I tried to make them all the same size I just folded that paper the wrong way before I cut it um, again another page another one and then this is some of the extra ephemera I was ephemera I was talking about there's one of the tickets um, another beautiful girl who's coming up in a little in one of the other pages that was just a little tag and I mean little she's only like that wide and I think she only comes to about here just under this ticket she's only to about here she's only really tiny um, and then another ticket there I just I wasn't sure I had them left over when I did the journal and I wasn't sure what to do with them so I thought you know what just do a little collage piece and stick it on there I'm not really good at collaging but I quite like that <laughs> quite simple but effective so again another small page another page from the kit a page tab which annoyed me not the tab me because I put it on the wrong page the tab should have been on that page but I wasn't paying attention when I was doing it and I put, stuck it on the wrong page for me I did anyway you know there's no right or wrong place to put these it's just I didn't want it to go there I wanted it on that one but never mind then we have a side pocket like I said uh, side tuck you get four of these side tucks and they are the same so you get two with that design on two with one of the other designs, or oh, it's on the back, uh, one of the other designs on, but you've got a left tuck and a, and a right tuck. So you've got one going that way and then one going that way for a left and a right page. But there's there's four, four of these, but two of each design, which I'll show you in a minute. Another tag. These are just bits I had left over. Um, again, some more little tickets. And then another one of them style tickets in the collage that I, do, that I did these were just bits left over as well again like I said just on normal paper which I'm not bothered about I'll just stick little notes or whatever on them so there we have another page with lines on which is really cool if you want to print on the reverse of all these pages I didn't um, but you could use this as a reverse page print on the reverse excuse me another one of my pages I love this. This is what I used in that first bookmark belly band, the cut off. Um, the, as you can see, that was actually the cut off from this page, was it? No, it wasn't actually. Oh, I don't know, it could have been. Oh, yeah, actually, it could have been. Mm, not sure. Um, but it's it's that page anyway in a minute so we have that one then we have another tag I love this tag and every, all the images on these tags are actually images from the pages too um, but yeah I love this tag um, and I used there are five page tabs throughout this but there's eight page tabs in total and I actually use I thought oh, I want to do something different I don't want another pocket I've got loads of them don't want to glue it in because then I'm losing space to journal on I don't want to journal over it it's too pretty um what can I do with it I thought I don't want to do another belly band so I used one of the page tabs to make a hinge I actually managed to get it a bit cockeyed there and ended up with ripple in it but yeah I actually used one of the page tabs as a hinge so I've got my journaling space underneath and then I can still use the back of the tag I have seen this um, I've seen this done a few times on somebody else's channel and I cannot for the life of me remember who it is I am so sorry anybody who's watching I always like to um, link to people or at least say who it were um, but I can't remember I mean I've seen loads of videos where they use hinges like scrap pieces of paper to make hinges 
but someone somewhere I've actually watched where they've used page tabs to make hinges um, but I can't remember who it were hi guys sorry um, <laughs> stupid me I forgot I did the um, bookmark belly band tutorial directly before doing this video and instead of going and taking everything off the phone and clearing space up I just carried on and my phone died on me well it died on me because it ran out of charge and it ran out of space as well so sorry anyway here we are <laughs> again uh, I can't remember what I got up to but I was saying in the other one I can't remember which crafter which um, youtuber it were that I got that idea from I know a lot of people junk journalists and youtubers of everybody uses like scrappy bits of paper coffee dyed paper to make hinges um, they'll do that to make hinges like this but I specific I actually specifically saw somebody one of the youtubers using the page tabs like this as a hinge and of course I did it flipped it so that the clear side was on the back so you can still see the picture underneath I can't remember who it was that did it though so I'm sorry guys um, I'm sorry if it, anybody's watching or anybody knows who it were actually if anybody does know who it were please tag them below because I always like to give people credit when I use one of their ideas um, but yeah so let's finish off this journal and then we get to the middle of the book and then there's this one oh, she's so pretty I love this I love that picture she's really pretty um, that was just that um, you'd probably be able to use it as a bookmark it's big enough um, but I just glued it in because I didn't know what else to do with it <laughs> let me get to the back pages of the other pages another page tab another pocket and tag another tag like I said you get four of these style pockets four tags and that picture is that is cool. All the pictures on the tags and the pockets are all taken from the actual kit pages, so that's cool. So it all ties in that way. Um, just some more pages, another um, tag flip. Again, I used one of the page tabs, so. Like I said, I've got the um, journaling space underneath and then on the tag as well. And I made use of the extra page tab. So, <laughs> another page. I love this one. So much detail in this one as well. So cool. Really I love butterflies. Really pretty image as well. And it is the same image that's here on the tag just flipped in the opposite direction but yeah so pretty and then we have the bookmark belly band that I actually did made in the tutorial before this video um, I would like to just state though because I did just quickly watch through the other video to make sure I knew where it had left off and it were okay throughout um, I'm having phone issues again um, I would like to state though this is not my design I didn't mention it when I showed the first one this is not my design or my idea it was an idea and a design that I got from a fellow junk journaler called G Kerr and links to her and the tutorial are below so please go check her out um, I just did like everybody else does and put my own spin on it but yeah definitely not my original idea it was G's but it's an awesome idea all the same um, but yeah so and like I said used the um, off cuts from the sides of the pages to make that one There's another page tab another page and um, then we get to another envelope another paper clip with a dangle on like I said nothing too difficult about that um, another ticket that goes with the collage ticket, the 
the ticket on the collage they were together like that I just cut them in half um, but yeah and then oh, another envelope which is nowhere near straight again because I didn't use my scoreboard <laughs> I've glued it um, I've glued it you don't need to glue these shut though don't know what's going on guys but my phone keeps telling me that the audio isn't recording because another app is using the mic which is slightly concerning but anyway hopefully this take will work um, but yeah you don't need to glue these shut you could just glue that onto the page leave it open but fold it so that you can open it up and have some journaling space inside but yes yeah, so there's the other envelope oh, put it out the wrong way you get two envelopes in this kit so like I said I just put a paper clip on there and a dangle then we have plain page, blue page, another page, pink one and we have this gorgeous lady she's so pretty she is the lady on the tiny little tag on the collage image there she's so pretty this is her in full such a pretty lady another page with some stunning detail on as well another blue page the end page with a tab on it and that's it guys your pocket outside oh, tuck and this is the ephemera left over this is all I had left out of the full ephemera kit that I didn't use so two more pockets two side tucks left right page and that's it basically so I used pretty much everything that I could I will use these um, in the journal in other places when sort of like as and when I feel I need to in the meantime I'll leave them tucked in there I should have actually used the left tuck of this on that page because the fact it matches that page is actually slightly annoying me but that's just me <laughs> that is just me but yeah so that's it guys quite literally that's it um i just kept it because i just wanted it as a normal notebook i just kept it plain and simple but even plain and simple the kit just makes it so stunning so beautiful um so you don't have to go too fluffy and fancy with it you can just keep it plain and simple but still have an awesome journal at the end of it um, I think a lot of people tend to get a bit overwhelmed and feel daunted when they watch daunting when they watch um, other junk journalers using kits to make a journal because we look and we think oh wow I'll never be able to create one like that well it's not about creating one like that it's about creating one that you like the way you want to take bits from others like I've done with the bookmark belly bands from G Kerr um, by all means and I can't remember who but using the hit using the page tab as a hinge for a tab flip then yeah you can do stuff like that you can incorporate other junk journalers methods and ideas into your own journal without all the fluffy fancy bits and everything and still have an awesome journal at the end of it the kits themselves are awesome the kits themselves make the journals <laughs> so I'm really pleased with it um, I do like to try the more complicated ones but I also love the plain and simple ones like this I'm actually more inclined to use plain and simple ones like this than the fluffy the big fluffy complicated ones because I just look at them and they're too pretty and I'm like oh, I don't want to use it I'll spoil it <laughs> I don't mind these because <laughs> they're easy enough to make another one but yeah so that's it guys this is like i said tracy's kit absolutely amazing i really 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 love it i will use it to make other journals probably very similar excuse me i will use it to make other journals i will probably use the pages in the kit in other journals not just as a full tracy journal but um in other journals as well because that's what they're for um but yeah amazing just i love this kit tracy everything about it guys bob on over to her etsy shop and a youtube channel go and check her out and um, yeah 
just absolute weight. I think I've had quite a spree over the last week of um, now that my spending ban's been lifted, or it had been, it's now back in force. <laughs> um, but I had quite a spending spree over the last week on um, digital kits from Tracy as well, other than this one, from Tracy as well and a couple of other um, Etsy stores, uh, kits from other Etsy stores. Um, but I think so far, as much as I love Tracy's other kits, I think so far this, this is definitely one of my favourites and I think it'll get used a lot. Like I said, not necessarily as a full kit like this, but like take a couple of pages out of the kit to use in other journals or for making tags or whatever yeah i just love it so so much so um i'm going to leave it here guys because i've pretty much said all i want to say and my phone is having some proper weird issues i don't know what all that's about the mics being used by another app i think it might be time to factory reset my phone um but yeah because i don't like the sound of that but anyway, I will leave it here and I will um, be back soon with some other video. I'm not sure what on. I do have a process series coming up of a new journal that I will be making. Um, and it is a black and white themed journal. So if you're interested in that, then please do check back once in a while. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, you'll know when that's due anyway, because there'll be updates on there. Um, but yeah, otherwise, <coughs> I hope to see you back here again soon. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for an awesome kit, Tracy. Go and check her out. Go and check out G as well for the tutorial on the bookmark belly bands. They're awesome. And just, yeah, hope to see you again soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.